Hi everyone and welcome. Welcome to OCN's third Sea Rescue Report of the year 2025. The last three months were really, really busy. So let's do it. Let's dive into the numbers and see what we can learn from them. Let's go. Johnny is coming your way. Come on, boy. Well go, done. Go, go, go. Yeah, got it. 2025 is already OCN's best slash worst year ever with 949 rescues, 16 sightings, and 14 escapes in only nine months. We still have three months to go and we already shattered the previous year's numbers by a huge margin. 949 rescues well, that's 41% more than the average of the previous five years. You guys are fine. Okay, we met just in case. Check if this one is, the, is really dead. In the first six months of the year, we rescued 436 Kepfer seals. In the last quarter alone, 513, with 220 of these rescues happening in July alone. Bear in mind that we do not go on patrol every day because we have to give the seals the rest they deserve. We had 12 patrols in July, which give us an average of 18 seal rescued per patrol in this month of July alone. August 2025 was our best month of August ever, with 173 Kepfer seals captured and rescued. September was a bit quieter, but still a very busy month with 120 rescues. You are fat, Poppy. Oh, you are so entangled. Let's have a look at the map to see where the rescues actually took place. We had 153 rescues, one sighting, and three escapes in five patrols at Cape Cross. 336 rescues, 7 sightings, and 5 escapes in 29 patrols at Pelican Point. 4 rescues, 1 sighting, and no escape in 39 patrols around the Walvis Bay Harbor. And 19 rescues, 0 sighting, and 0 escape in 2 patrols at Sandwich Harbor. Oh no! This guy's covered in another sealed skin. No, right. It's not the same bull! Tony! It's not the same bull! So who got entangled? Well, 79% of the rescuees were less than one year old. There are many reasons for that. One of them being the fact that the pups are the only member of the colony remaining around the colony for a whole year. So that gives us a lot more time to spot them and rescue them. So how bad was it actually? Well, 39% of the entangled seals we rescued these past three months were showing injuries. If we remove the pups from the equation and we focus only on the juveniles, the subadults and the adults, the number is going to 69%, which is a very, very different number. Oh, this one is bad. Ooh. 
Probably that's not one way to go out of this life. Stay calm, stay calm. Stay calm, I got you, I got you. Here comes the difficult part of the start review. Um, in the last quarter, we found six entangled deceased Kefir seals, all pups, all entangled in fishing gear, but one that was entangled in a rain jacket. We didn't have the time to find them, and uh, it's starting to become really, really upsetting to find so many this year. We averaged four years since 2020, and the tally is already at 11 this year. We really hope they were the last one dying because of our stupidity. Whoa, what are we doing now? Don't tell me you're recaptured. Though. This is our top three entanglements for the year 2025 so far. In first place, we have the recreational fishing line with 228 entanglements so far this year, which give us an increase of 86 in the last three months alone. Injury rate is just ridiculous. 81% of the seals entangled in recreational fishing line were showing injuries. In second place, we have the packaging strap with 205 entanglements so far this year. That is an increase of 127 in the last three months alone. In third place, we have the commercial fishing line with 160 entanglements so far this year and an injury rate of 30%. We good. Yeah, we really good. Okay, on your side. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you can catch something else if you want. I have both. One entanglement to watch the fishing nets. We are on 69 entanglements in fishing nets so far this year, while we actually averaged 47 a year since 2020. 37 of these nets were gill nets, one of the most lethal entanglement there is out there. Their injury rate is over 70%, and gill nets have been responsible for two reported deaths so far this year. So we really hope the seals managed to find all the nets there were this year and that we are not going to find any more anytime soon. So after nine months, we on 14 escapes, meaning 14 seals managed to escape us and are still entangled as we speak. I'm not gonna lie, we are always very upset to, to talk about the escapes because we don't know if these seals are going to come back and if we will get another opportunity at rescuing them. Uh, we obviously will try our best to find them again. Um, there's a chance that we find them and that we do not remember. But at the end of the day, we don't really care about the stats. We care about the lives we save and hopefully they can come back and we can uh, we can help them. Yeah. <sighs> So that's it. 
that was our busiest three months ever basically the next three months will be a lot less busy because breeding season is coming very fast and we cannot perform rescues while breeding happens It is very clear for us that this increase in sea rescues is not happening because the sea rescue team is getting better out there. It is simply happening because our oceans are choking with plastic. So we're still waiting for a change to happen. We're still waiting for a plastic treaty and for people to actually understand that they have to change their habits for us to run out of work. Until then, we will keep doing what we do. So yeah, thanks for watching. We we'll see you in three months.